The miners in Chile are trapped no more. After a record 69 days underground, the men were hoisted to safety in an operation that lasted less than 24 hours. One by one, they climbed into the rescue capsule named the Phoenix and took the smooth ride to the surface where they each received a hero's welcome. All 33 men took pretty stiff precautions. Rescue workers monitored each man for signs of panic on the way up. They also wore protective sunglasses along with compression socks to prevent blood clotting and sweaters for a drastic change in temperature. We're looking at the last miner to be rescued. Luis Ursua was the group's foreman. The 54-year-old held the men together when no one knew if they had survived the mine's collapse back in August. After reaching the surface and with his family and Chile's president at his side, he led the crowd in singing the national anthem. Ursua's ride to the top capped a day of nationwide celebration. Thousands stayed glued to big screen sets and plazas throughout the country, cheering loudly with every rescue. All the miners were taken to hospitals for evaluation, and even their ambulances were greeted by bands playing for the country's newest heroes. What's next for these men is not clear. They have become instant celebrities, and their mining days could be over. But before they explore any new career options, They'll have to get used to living above ground again. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.